nearly Halloween. And if you've ever fancied being a zombie and attempting a couple of world records and raising money for charity, then my next guest may just be able to help. Carl Whiteley, the organiser and founder of Zombie Aid, joins me now. What is Zombie Aid? She looks on a gog. <laughs> <laughs> zombie Aid's a charity zombie walk. Well, basically, people just dress up as zombies and walk around, and we raise money for a local charity and have loads of fun in the meantime. Now, you've done this quite recently, because I remember I was at the <laughs> International Festival waiting outside, yeah. um, it felt like a kiss, and all of a sudden, from nowhere, what looked like hundreds of zombies started walking up the road. How many did you manage to get? I think we can, yeah, the, these were the pictures of them last time. How many did you get together for that? We, we were going for a world record of 1,227 at the time. Um, we were fell short 160 registering, but we actually got over 2,500. People didn't register. So uh, this time we're going for the record again, which is now 4,027. Oh, gosh, that's yeah, a lot it's then. It's gone up, yeah. So, uh, so even this, people certainly make an effort, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got like makeup artists come from America to do this. Oh, so do you have to come in a costume? It's better to do that, otherwise you spend hours queuing up. Right, so if you come up, come made up in a costume, what, ti what time and what day do you need these zombies? Right, everything's on Sunday. We're starting registration at 1.30. You don't have to come at 1.30, but if you don't want any queues, you do that. We ask for £2, and that goes uh, to Christie's Cancer Charity. And then uh, your name gets written down, and do you get a little sticker, and that gets you a discount on all the bars and print works. Um, so if you, you come down any time between uh, 1.30 and 5.30, because at six o'clock we've got a double zombie wedding, world oh, first. Right. Oh, well, that sounds. No, like no, that. I've just yeah. thrown that in. That's <laughs> not in my notes. A double zombie <laughs> wedding. Yeah, world first. Ah, so who's? Is it you? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no what's, what's the best zombie outfit you've seen? The most extreme one in the past. Uh, Try and paint a picture for us. In, in our oof, minds. There was, a, there was a guy with his eye hanging out that looked quite good. Really? I think the best ever was a zombie baby. He was nine months old. I've seen him since. And he was a tiny little thing, a bit of blood, and he laughed all the way through. Oh. But. And it's two world records you're trying to get, isn't it? What's the other one? It's not anymore. Oh, uh, no, oh we're, we're doing I, you, I don't know why I read my notes. It's, it's <laughs> not. It, it got broken recently. We're going to do the world oh. record for Thriller Dance. Uh, Guinness sent me the task of getting 241 people, which have got about five, 600 now. And then in Mexico City four weeks ago, they got 13,500. Yeah, don't attempt that one. We're not going to fit that in the printwork. We'll print just, works just no, take no that one off. Don't just do yeah, that one. Can't do no. But the double zombie wedding, I mean, you've still got that. Yeah, we're still doing the Thriller Dance. we we'll would probably be the biggest in Europe. Okay. Um, so we're getting a lot of people coming okay. for that. Fabulous. So that's Sunday. People should turn up about 1.30ish to register. That's when it starts. So yeah. Come any time. We've got bands on uh, in a few of the bars, Henry J. Beans. And we've also, the, the walk's going through the Arndale Centre when oh. it's closed down. Fabulous. So, yeah. Great stuff. Thank you no so problem. much. No Thank you. Thanks.